guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, maybe consider subscribing. We are on our way to a thousand subscribers and the first thousand are gonna get something free from me. I'm not sure what it's gonna be yet. I anticipate it's gonna be cool. It should be something really sweet. And um, hopefully something that everybody can enjoy. So with that, we just hit 400 subscribers, so I'm pretty proud of that. And uh, right now, we are just starting off the new year. And this is the first video I have for the new year, and with that, I just wanted to share something with you guys, right? Maybe a little unboxing video, something that we haven't done before in a really, really long time. Um, so as you guys know, uh, back in the day, even now, I still like to write a little bit of music, right? So you guys can go and see my earlier videos where we raised some money for a children's hospital, and we made a music video and did all that good stuff. So as a songwriter of like over 20 years now, right, I like to get my ideas down. And the main way I've been doing that is using my phone, right? Well, you know, it does its justice. It helps you to write songs so you can't forget lyrics and how like melodies worked and yada, yada, yada. It's important. I still, you know, I've been doing that for, I don't know, over 10 years using my phone. But I need something, right? I needed something that's going to give me a little bit better quality and something that uh, I can also use for better audio quality for these videos that we're doing here. So I needed something that I can use for both purposes, whether it's music recording or just recording, you know, basically good audio for you guys here. So that's what this video is about today, okay? Um, this isn't a flex or anything like that. This is just a tool that I'm gonna be using and I like to show you guys tools that I use to work on trucks and cars and all that stuff. And um, so this is just like another tool, right? But it's gonna be like a YouTube tool, right? So that's why I wanted to share with you guys today. And we got ourselves a brand spanking new audio interface. So it is right here, guys. All right, it's right here. We haven't really gone through it or anything yet, but what I wanna do is just unbox this, take the stuff out, let you guys see my reaction to opening up this brand new interface bundle that I got, okay? So without further ado, let's just jump into it, okay? So right now, as you can see from the top up here, right, we are, we got ourselves a Volt, which is from Universal Audio, okay? It's a UA uh, Volt. Now this one is a 276. So there's different Volt models, um, and there's as many inputs you know, as you want. You know, you can get a whole band basically playing on this interface. But what I want to show you here is that this thing just looks so cool. And interfaces have come such a long way from when I used to have an M Audio interface. And anyone you know is like Universal Audio. They make some great stuff, and I know that the um, the inputs on here sound amazing but the reason why i chose this over other models even though this was like maybe like let's say seventy five hundred dollars more for something that's like uh like a focus right or something along the lines that would be i guess competing with this um interface is that you have a compressor it's a 76 compressor and you have a vintage mode that actually like warms up uh vocals guitars and all that right and i just thought that that would be like important for like what I was doing because I'm just basically playing guitar and singing. But the 76 compressor is modeled after the 1176 compressor. So we like to say that it has an analog circuit in here. Is it gonna be exactly the same as the 1176? I don't believe so. But what I can say is that it should sound pretty, pretty, pretty darn good. And I've heard a lot of good things about this, right? So I am excited. So let's uh, set this to the side over here, okay? And um, we're gonna go ahead and see what else came in this bundle. So I got a bundle because I want something that's gonna be sounding decent, but I don't need something that's gonna be like super, super professional, right? I want it to sound good that if I was to like upload maybe a new song or something like that onto YouTube, maybe just share it here and there in between these types of videos or between car videos or whatever, I can do that, or if I make it short or whatever, I can do that. Uh, Cause you guys know I like to play music, so 
Might as well give you guys something else, you know, you guys can uh, bob to, right? Came with some headphones with a quarter jack. I think that's pretty cool. Some studio quality headphones. I don't know how good these are, but you know what? It comes with headphones. I mean, you can't beat that. You need headphones for monitoring purposes. It comes with its own Volt mic, right? So that's kind of cool, I think, you know? Um, I'm sure it's just like a regular large diaphragm condenser, but you can't really beat that. So I'm kind of happy about that because um, now I don't have to spend money on a mic. You know, it's probably budget mic, you know, um, but it feels of good quality. I've had budget mics before and I've had expensive mics before. This feels more robust than um, some of the expensive mics that I had. So kind of cool. And, I, and I'm glad that it, it's, it's paired up with this. So whoever designed this microphone and this um, audio interface must know that these mics go well with this unit. Otherwise, why would they sell them together in a package? So I'm thinking that hopefully I don't get a lot of air, you know, through the line and, uh, and, and it gives me some good quality and some good, uh, good tones in there for sure. So what else is in here? Hmm. Okay. Looks like just a card, something to start guide. Looks like warranty paperwork. Oh, nice. I didn't know it even came with this. Okay. So it comes with, a mic cable, which is pretty sweet. I didn't know that because I ordered one. There's my uh, USB. Okay, that's my C. So this would go to uh, power supply. This is gonna go to a computer or along those lines, I'd say. Because um, USB-C to USB, so I am assuming that you don't necessarily need power that way. Um, but if you have two options, it looks like for power. Um, I don't think there's anything else in this box. Maybe we'll like take this out. Nope, that's it. So you don't get an instrument cable with this, but you do get a mic cable. So basically, if you were like a podcaster, um, you can basically plug right in and um, go ahead and start, you know, getting your podcast on, which is pretty darn cool, I'd say. So let's go ahead and let's put these back in here so I don't lose them because that's something that I would definitely do. Warranty information, I gotta look at this, register this because if it breaks, I don't wanna be crying about it, right? So let's put this back into here, right? Okay, so now that we have everything back into here, we'll shut this box here because the next step would be to try and basically, um, you know, figure this out so i've done some music recording in the past um i've done everything on m audio and i used to use sonar like cakewalk or something like that back in the day this comes with ableton light i've never used it before trying to see some videos on it um you know it looks relatively user friendly um so, but a lot of people say that it's not and i haven't done any music recording like as far as the software aspect of it in over 10 years. So this is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a learning experience, but just like anything else, the more you do it and practice with it, the better you're gonna get at it. And I'm sure like I'll catch on relatively quickly and that, uh, that, that muscle memory will kick in pretty quick. So hopefully, um, maybe not within the next two videos, but maybe on that, next, in that third video, maybe we're looking at like end of February, first week of March, we should have something going with this microphone and hopefully we can start using it for every single video where we're talking here. Um, so with that guys, if you guys are interested in getting an audio interface, I have no links for this thing, but this is the one I'm using. This is the one I decided to go with um, because it has the 76 compressor and a vintage mode on there. Um, and for me, I think this is just gonna really uh, clear my audio up. It's gonna make things sound a little bit better. It's gonna allow me to make some music and um, just be able to provide some more entertainment and get my ideas out which are therapeutic but also something you guys can enjoy. So with that, if you enjoyed this video, please Hi. like, share, and subscribe. If you guys have a 276 or a 476 mm -hmm. or if you guys have an 1176 compressor or any of that good stuff, please share it with me. Go ahead and leave a comment down below and um, you know we can definitely talk about it because uh, I'm excited to use this thing. And um, if you guys are excited for me, let me know. So with that, guys, I will see you guys in the next video.
have a great day.